Hello, everyone. Good morning. So I'm supposed to be here presenting with my co-founder, Oreo Lua Ajayi, but he's not here in person. Um, the project is the Afro Sounds Project. Now, the word Afro Sounds, we try to comprise African sounds, um, music, as well as the people involved, as the artists, the producers, and so on. So when we talk of African sounds, it's basically African music. So African music and open knowledge. When um, um, or Oluwa, when he came to me and said he had this idea of um, working towards African music, and he's someone that is really passionate about African music, he, he likes um, the sound, he likes patting, he's that kind of a person. So in the real in real life, that was what he does. He, he works with um, um, a record a record label in Nigeria. So and me, I'm mostly into Wikipedia. So I was trying to find a way we could bridge African sounds and open knowledge. You can go to the next slide. So that was where we came about this the African the Afro sounds project. So I started noticing the gaps. And thanks to him, I was able to start noticing the gaps that we have on Wikipedia. For example, if right now, if you check the category, um, uh, Moroccan, Moroccan record labels, there are just two pages there. You can check it on Wikipedia. There are just two pages. Does that, does that mean that there are no articles on Moroccan record, um, record label um, producers, record producers, sorry. Does that mean that there are no articles on them? All the articles are not categorized on Wikipedia. So basically, there's much work to be done. Either we need to create content, improve existing ones, or properly ca um, categorize the ones that already exist. So that was how we came about the um, Afro Sounds project. And our aim is to explore resources, diversities, create um, um, future-oriented collaborations towards ensuring the credible and notable stories, topics, and content about African music. So it's not just about, um, um, fortunately, right now, African music is a thing. And <laughs> like I said, <laughs> like, like I said, last night, I was so happy. When we went to the, 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 we went to the restaurants and they were playing African sounds. And it was, it was really encouraging. But who noticed that most of the songs that were played yesterday were mostly Nigerian songs? Did you notice that? Yeah. yeah. The only the only song that was played that wasn't Nigerian was um um Le Blanca, that's um people. The, the, who knows it? Okay. So I, I was just paying attention, anyways. So <laughs> but then the thing is when, when people try to like they see I'm African and they want to like um connect with you, they start playing African music. I think they just go to the B-board. Luckily, B board last year, um last year, this year, B-board created a category for African sounds. So there's a billboard category, but it's mostly dominated by Nigerian music. So I'm, I'm right now, I said, um, category, um, Moroccan record producers, they are just like two. But Nigeria is just like, they're like, um, compared to Nigeria, Nigeria's pet. So there's, and we have more record producers than that, meaning that their stories are not documented on Wikipedia. And, but fortunately, now that it's um, is a trend, African music is a trend. There's now more light, um, and um, everybody is trying to listen to it. So it's giving those artists more acknowledgement, but mostly just the artists. If you ask anybody, a random person outside of Africa, which artists do they know? They probably will mention Bonner Boy, Rema, or David Doe. That's it. Like the other people are not, and they are, when it comes to music. There's so many people behind the scenes. We have the composers, the producers, the dancers, and all these people are not documented. And music goes back to before Fela's time. Like, and people just know just Fela. Like, when it comes to, um, when they want to say, oh, I know a legend, it, it just stops at Fela. So, like, that's what we're doing. So, both outside um, and inside, I mean, both within and outside Wikipedia, they will be doing much work. Um, my partner, Oreolua, is mostly focused on outside. I try my best to bring him inside. Like, there's so much work to be done. But as you can go to the next slide. Okay, so, so far we've had um, three campaigns. We had a first meetup. We're really nervous with the meetup. We just started this year. So we're really nervous because 
we're, we're worried. What if people don't want to turn up? What if people um, don't want to contribute? What if people don't know how to contribute? And But luckily, we've, we've had three and we're having more. So the third one was a collaborative action, women, African music, and open knowledge. Now, um, this one, the third one was a collaboration with, um, we have one with, when we collaborated with Arts and Feminism, and we're able to focus on women. And you can move on, please. I think, okay. So the, this is pictures from our meetup, and luckily we've had so much support from Daniel, Obi OKK, it was a former Wikipedia in residence. He came in person. You can go up to the next slide, I'll take a personal time. So um, another thing we did was because um, when it comes to trying to do something and you're both from the same country and you're trying to do something um, that is big, it was kind of hard to collaborate. But then fortunately, it was not as hard as we thought. So we reached out to, I made sure I reached out to each um, president of every um, user group in Africa. So I sat down, created the list, and I reached out to them. And luckily, we had like six African countries willing to collaborate with us and were able to do a global and African editor tone where we told them, we, we told them, um, um, we wanted to do this and they were really interested because luckily is a thing, is a trend. So, um, we had 60 volunteers and we were able to create 250 articles, both in English and minority languages. And for me, the good thing is we're starting small, but we're creating impact. It's not about having so many people. It's about them being active and Okay, we've, and we have over 1.5 million article views to those articles that were created, you can move on. And some people, we told them it's not only about creating on, um, Wikipedia. Some, ar I noticed some artist articles and producer articles, there are no pictures. We don't have pictures. So what we, um, or Lua tries to do is reach out to, with, last week we had an interview with like two major Nigerian record labels. So we're trying to tell them that we need photos and they could, and what the impact it does for us, and we're still having meetings on how we could um, bridge that, like the issue of no pictures on all these um, artists or um, composers, um, articles on Wikipedia. You can go to the next slide, please. Okay. <laughs> so now, okay. So this is um, what we plan to do now. Um, with our, our the two main things for me is just documentation that's both within and outside Africa and um, and also collaborations because we need collaborations with other African countries for this to be possible. Um, I think some African countries, English is not really their first language. They speak French. And although um, that's nice, but we, can, we, can, we still encourage them that you can create in French and we can try and work on translations. And as well, you can do it in English and we can still work on translations and stuff like that. So we, um, our first, our focus is contribution of credible and verifiable information. And that's really, really important because when we talk of wh what I've noticed recently is we try our best to bridge content gap, but sometimes we really can't. And that goes back to the media. And that's what Orelua tries to do. It tries to, um, some, there are some, re some, some, um, archives, some labels. They have the knowledge, the content. That, but they are not in the public space. So we're trying to also get them to give us those um, um, documents or information so we can make it public and then use it on Wikipedia. So there's a, a lot of work going behind the scenes. And um, the document, and that leads to the second point, documentation and di um, digital archives of indigenous African sound and music. Um, some months ago, it went to the Northern States because there's a lot of, this is what happened there. Okay, there's this um, song uh, by Asha Kerr, um, Yoga. In the beginning, okay, okay. Okay, there's a song like that. <laughs> okay, there's a song like that. It's, it's a hit, it's a global hit. And in the beginning, it plays this um, African sound, but the original people that own that sound are in the, like, they're, they're in the Northern States. They made it, even when they bought it, and then use it in the sound. But those people are not given the credibility or like, uh, or maybe they're just in the credit and nobody nobody sees them. So we recognize those work. And Aura went there to talk to them about how, like, and let them know that because some of them are actually, they're not, um, what's the word? 
they're not, they're, they're not literate enough or they're not used to the internet enough to know this is what's going on. And they are the original owners of that sound, but they're not recognized. So we try as much as possible to give the, the heroes that no one is looking at. We try to give them their, um, yeah, um, what's the word? Thank you, the attributions. <laughs> so we have collaborations, um, resource exchange and partnership with relevant stakeholders to advance free knowledge sharing of African music. Okay, you can go to the next slide, please. Um, so, okay, I think the slide is missing. Okay, so you can, no, okay. Is this it? Uh, that's it, okay. So, <laughs> okay, so um, in terms of what can anybody do, like a, a regular Wikipedia, what can you do? You can, I feel a lot of us are advanced here. Yeah? You can help us categorize pages. You can um, change the, um, some articles, the lead section is a mess. And if you go through, <laughs> if you go through uh, some categories, like um just just look for category um artists and look for like artists by nationality and you see a whole lot and then when you open it you see some are flagged you can help like solve those issues um there are just many things you could do actually you can check some some um some um what's the word some artists, their pictures are quite old, really, really old, and it should not be so. So um, we're trying to work on that, but you can also help us if the, you, you have the resource to probably improve that. And I think I will have my presentation here. I'm so nervous. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. <laughs> so are there any questions? Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> while I'm changing the slides, please ask questions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm in the base, you know, because, uh, okay. I mean, I love the, the presentation of, of Hogan, I didn't get involved with this. My question is, uh, you know, historically, I've always been interested in uploading, on using uh, multimedia files in the articles. My question is, uh, what it will be great of a project like this is to have actual pieces of music sounding, uh, this is difficult because of copyright laws. Yeah. So my question is, I saw that you have like 600 different they can uh, buy to upload the music uh, Exactly what kind of files those were? Were photos or on the other hand, that we had uh, like multimedia files of interpreters perhaps uh, doing much of the project or, or... No, I think they were mostly photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like um, we've not gotten to the, like you said, the media, the in terms of media and audios, they're like, Copyright issues with that, so um, they're just mostly um photos, yeah. So yeah. In that case, I will be interested in sharing. Yeah. So like um, when it comes to photos, some people like um took pictures of like their um traditional instruments and all all those are still part of music and sounds. So like they they took part they took pictures of it and then they uploaded it like from different countries. But most people that participated in those are. In um in our editor tones were not really from Nigerians. They were like from other countries. Like they were not really Nigerians, like Ghana and other countries. So thank you. Any Thanks. other? Thanks okay. Yeah. So you want to be the the uh, will go back and Do you say that you use traditional instrument to record song? Is it yeah. published on the commons? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Guys, can we move on? Thank yes. you very much. Yeah. <laughs>